All right, so today is new truck tow test day. Uh, so we bought a 2020 F350. And so today's the first day, we just hooked it up and um, we're gonna try this pro trailer backup ex uh, assist. So just a very quick note, we are just now leaving the lot and as a passenger, I have yet to be a driver, but as a passenger, I can barely even feel that we're hooked up to a rig. It is unbelievable in our, incredible. the engine of the 2020 F350, I mean, you can't even notice a huge difference with the load that we're carrying. So I'm excited to see how the backup trailer assist works as well. And maybe I'll get to try it out. Maybe I'll just watch, we'll see. And for those of you that are interested in the 2020 F350 um, and interested about the towing capacity, we are towing a 44 foot, almost 20,000 pound trailer. And it's like it's not even there. It's pretty incredible. Amanda, what are your initial thoughts just driving it right now? It feels awesome. Um, I can definitely feel a little bit more and I'm more in tune with um, what's going on with the engine and how it steers, but it feels very, very smooth and I feel much safer as a passenger and soon to be a driver, so. Now we're here, hit the uh, trailer backup pro assist button and it says, hey, you have to install the sensor. So, didn't know that, but we're gonna install the sensor because it's right back there. So, we're gonna install this sensor real quick. So, to install this sensor according to the instructions, we have to mount this piece with the arrows up. I don't know how well you can see the arrows. Basically, we need to mount it right here. But before we can do that, we gotta take this off. All I'm doing, quick flathead screwdriver, and we're just gonna peel these up and take these off and we don't have to have to worry about taking the sticky off but we are going to give it a quick wipe down once we're done um and since we know we're going to put it right here i need to go from the o to the l as far as removal because we want this to sit level that's one of the big things that they really stressed and then we're going to run the cords up and through and use the zip ties that were provided by ford and uh then we'll connect it in down there so that's what we're going to do now now we place this here um we did slide a little bit more to the left than to the right um we want to make sure we had enough room for this key to actually pull out um when we have it connected up and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down and behind and we're going to plug this in and if you did it right it should be round side up and we're just going to push in until we hear a click and then we're going to force it to have a little bit of, of a loop and then what we're going to do is we're going to go behind the entire bracket of the emergency brakes so we don't interfere with any of its operation we're gonna run it up underneath right like that give it a little bit of leeway so this thing has room to move we're gonna snug that up and then we're gonna put one more just to be safe right here with the wires themselves and then we'll snug these up and we'll clip them and we'll, we'll clip them off and then at that point all we have to do is take this and it plugs in underneath our hitch right over here and so that's what we're going to do now our pro trailer backup is ready to go so jeff is inside giving a little bit of information and directives on what his backup trailer system is going to be doing and i'm going to be giving you some of the outside viewpoint so we can really see what he's doing and there he goes
So now got the uh, sensor installed on the actual pin um, of my fifth wheel. And then now what we're going to do, is we're gonna come down here. We're gonna hit trailer backup, push that button. It's gonna go to on up here. Sorry, I know it's flashing. It says pro trailer backup assist, which trailer we're gonna hit house because that's what we have and it's detecting the trailer. Now it says shift to park. And then now it says drive forward to calibrate trailer, refer to center screen for details. Center screen requires two steps. Drive straight forward until the trailer is straight behind the vehicle. Drive in a left or right turn while holding the steering steady. The instructions on the vehicle display will guide you through the process. Please check surroundings for safety. So that's what we're gonna do. Just shifted into drive, it's saying drive straight forward to calibrate. System calibrating. We're gonna drive left or right. System calibrating. Calibration complete, and we're gonna straighten ourselves back out so that we can try this until it says to stop. So we're gonna stop. Now, what it's saying to do is saying shift into reverse to activate. So we're gonna shift in the reverse. And I'm actually gonna change this to my trailer view. And you can see it's showing where the trailer is. Now I'm in a very open area. And if I wanted to go left, I'm going to turn the wheel left. And then when I straighten it up, when I let go of the knob, it straightens me back up. So I'm going to pull forward because I need some more space. We're going to do it again. With my side-by-side -side view, got my trailer behind me. And I want my trailer to go left. Straighten it up. I got my trailer going straight back in a straight line. My wheel is actually spinning as I go. Now, if I want my trailer to go left, I'm gonna take this knob. Okay, I'm gonna take this knob, I'm gonna turn it to the left. It's opposite of how you would back a trailer. You want you turn it the way you want the trailer to go. So in my case, I want my trailer to go left. You can see that going into you can see that uh, white line moving it's showing my trailer moving and if I want to go more it'll take me more and as long as I keep my trailer as much out of the yellow as possible I am okay to have my trailer back it up the manner's recording on the outside and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let go of everything and continue to use my uh, gas pedal a little bit to help assist looking through my mirrors and it is forcing or it is turning the truck so that the trailer is straight back and we just took a 90 degree turn but here he goes backing up following some of those lines it looks like here on the road and he has the cameras available uh, back on our rig and also he has the backup cameras available there. You can hear the truck pushing a little bit with the engine but again brand new 2020 F350 is definitely made to push and pull heavy things. So there he goes back and right up to the edge. Even when he let off on the brakes there, or put on the brakes, excuse me, um, you couldn't really tell the stress that the vehicle was going through. So he's going to check out his job and there we go. Inside, as you're turning the knob, the trailer turns. Um, it's a little weird having the steering wheel move around on you, 
But we just did a 90 degree turn like it wasn't even there. Went from all the way back there, as I said, and he was following and then straight back that way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some cones and we're gonna actually set up uh, something to back into. And we're gonna see how this works out. First thoughts, cool system. Definitely need to use it more to become more proficient at it which is exactly what we're doing today. So um, what we did is when we backed up the trailer, we added some cones to either side. And so what we're gonna do this time is I'm gonna pull out of this parking spot and we're gonna try it again and we're gonna see how it works out. All right, over there is Amanda with the cones. I don't know if you can see it, but what we're gonna do is we're going to pull around we're gonna just try backing straight in for the good first uh, iteration of this. Once again, we're doing this in a controlled environment. There's nobody around. We're on a very, like, basically deserted area. And I'm just going to do what I think is probably the best. All right, now, pro trailer backup assist. I'm going to hit OK, detecting the trailer, I'm going to shift into reverse, I'm going to switch my camera to the trailer cam, and you can see the cones back there. And then so what I'm going to do is I need my trailer to go right, I'm going to hit the pedal, make it go right. I'm deliberately wanting to be on one side of the cones as close as possible. So in my case, I'm trying to stay on the right side um, for no other reason other than it's what I chose first. And literally, like I am letting, I am not touching anything. I'm touching the pedal. So as I settle in right here, I can see that I am a little bit off angle. So I know I want to take my trailer right some more just to put myself perfectly straight in this spot tire truck's gonna straighten up and I'm gonna stop so let's get out and take a look just gonna back up here sort of show everybody what we're looking at this is the driver side as we go and then walk over here I thought about trying to get as, a little bit closer to these cones um, cones aren't in a straight line but we sure as heck are which is awesome so we've swung back out and now what we're going to do is we're going to back into it as if i had to drive straight down a road right beside it and we're going to see how this works i'm not sure i'm a little nervous because this is probably one of the harder turns a, a fifth wheel driver has to make is to go down right beside it and then make a 90 degree turn back in so i am gonna do like what i would normally do get myself set up swing my tail around just to make it a little bit easier um, all right pro trailer backup assist on switch to reverse switch my camera view I'm starting to learn this really quick and I want my trailer to go right oh my pro trailer backup assist is now on I already had it on on accident so I'm going to pull forward because I cheated myself. Okay, so now I want my trailer in to go right. I do have to be mindful of my trailer going past 90 degrees. And so I know I'm not gonna make it, so I'm going to swing around and try again. That's just the truth of the matter. Sometimes when even when you're backing in, you gotta do not pass go and 
take a lap. So we're gonna do that. We're back, we're lining up into this thing. We'll see if we can have better luck this time. I'm doing right now is I am watching my house to make sure I don't go too far past 90 and I am not which is awesome I'm letting off I'm gonna let the tires continue to do its thing and it's trying to straighten me up, but I can tell from looking back there, I'm gonna need to pull forward just a little bit. Which is, actually before I move, which is cool because right here, the, the fact that the trailer is in the yellow says, hey, you're probably gonna have to pull forward. Well, hey, it's true. So we're gonna pull forward, get my trailer back behind me. Get back into reverse and back this bad boy on up. So I don't, I can't see my cones on the other side, but I'm gonna try and get closer to these cones on the left this time. I know that my truck is not straight. Amanda was saying, hey, stop, so let's go see what's going on. Oh, I killed a cone. I got a little bit too close on this side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's good to know, I mean, so we're doing this yeah so we can really see the limits of how we can turn and what is a tight turn versus a proper turn and nothing beats somebody being on your blind side taking a look and actually looking at it so i'm gonna pull forward and we're gonna straighten up and see if i can get on in here and i want my trailer to go a little bit to the left straighten up i'm gonna do a little bit more left up. Let's see how we did. So once again, the camera angle doesn't fix everything. It looks straight, but also our cones aren't super straight. But all in all, it's super usable. Um, I think that this is just something we're going to have to practice with and we are very lucky to for the time being in our temporary home where we are to be in a space where we can come out on this random flat land out here and use these cones and just keep on practicing. Yep. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now, Amanda, let's ask you this real quick. Oh my goodness. How many times have you backed a trailer in your life? Like maybe a 10 foot trailer once and it was not successful. And then I tried our rig with our other vehicle, our older uh, 2002 F350. Um, and I was somewhat successful, but I am not a trailer person. So okay. all in all, let's just see what happens. All right, so let's start with just pulling it straight forward then. to do is I want to hit this trailer back up, assist yep. here, 
Of course, I want to acknowledge that that is the correct trailer, the one that we just hooked up. I also want to change my view to the trailer, and for us to do this successfully, of course, I need to be in reverse, which yeah, I now let go am. Of the wheel. We'll let, yep, let go of the wheel because it told me to back up, sister. All right, and I can kind of see back here. I can already see one line of cones to the right here, and I can't really see the one to the left. So I'm just going to kind of start backing up just to kind of get a feel of what I'm doing. This is my first time. I just want to see how it handles. So I'm going to go that way a little bit. Now it's straightening up. I'm going to go a little bit more that way. Let so it go so I'm straightening up. Probably want to put your trailer more to the right. More to the right. So I'm going to turn it more to the right. To the right. right. So I'm letting off the gas or the brakes pointing to the right. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to let it go so it can straighten up or do what's called chase. Is that correct? I think so. Looking at my mirrors here to see, I definitely am straighter than I was originally. So me. Have... I see how it is. No, mm -hmm. then I was. That's me. Still going back here. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. I'm going to put it in park. Let's go see what I did. So she looks great on this side. I would just like to take this time to point out that this really is my first time and I, it doesn't get better than that folks i mean this is it was meant to be <laughs> so one of the things i think for me is i'm so used to i've been back in trailers heck since i was 18 so 20 years i found it very counterintuitive to use left with the trailer right with the trailer versus traditional backing up but i mean this first shot backing it up looks great um i mean Thank, that, thank you. That's one of the things is if something ever happens to me and she needs to drive this trailer, um, I want her to be ready. And that's why we're doing this. And another note on that, this is my first time. Um, something that's very challenging for me and I think will be for a while. We're gonna go ahead and head to the back so I can explain this more. I had no idea, even though I know how long our trailer is, I didn't really understand the depth of how far away this really was. And I definitely am in line with the cones but I couldn't really tell as I was driving, but doing this and practicing, it makes me feel much more comfortable. And of course, having Jeff to help me along is that much better. So I am absolutely thrilled with the truck. I love our house still. And I think that the fact that we have this trailer backup system is fantastic. So overall, I'd give it a thumbs up. Oh. All right, so I'm calling my wife. She wants to, she's going to give this a shot on her own and um, we're going to go from there. So she's going to pull out, swing all the way around um, and then she's going to pull straight like she just did and back it in. For those who can hear me, I am very nervous doing this by myself. Um, I'm glad that I have Jeff here to help me. This is definitely super new. Jeff's going to give me some directions on how far I should go so bear with us for a second. Okay. So you're gonna pull up right beside these cones, babe. And then once your tires get to right about here, go ahead and start turning your wheel left. Go ahead and turn left. Left more, be aggressive with your left. All right, I'm a little lost right now. Okay. Good right there? Uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and put it in Pro Trailer Backup Assist and I'll guide you in, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you um, with directions that your trailer needs to go. So right now your trailer needs to come straight back. So I'm just going to go straight back. Yeah. Now you want to start having your trail come on back a little bit more. Swing your wheel. Uh, now t take your trailer to the right. It's hard for me because I have to. I'm used to telling people how to turn their tire, but we want to turn the trailer to the right. Am I doing okay? Uh, no, we're going to need to pull forward about 20 feet. Alright. Well, I'm still trying to. What 
I'm going just straight. Yep. Just like this. Right there. Go back with my trailer now. Okay. So you want your trailer to come to the right a little bit. Keep coming. I know you can't see me. And that we normally don't move trailers unless you can see me. I'm in your passenger side mirror somewhere. Straighten up. So I'm just letting it go and straightening up, correct? Yeah. Doing what they call the chase mode. Okay, stop one sec. We're gonna have to pull forward again. All right, so go ahead and come on back. Come straight back. I'm in your left mirror. Just come straight back. Come straight back. Come straight back. Now start to cut your trailer to your to its right. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to your right mirror so you can see me, okay? Uh, I'm keeping right. Keep going. Start straightening it up. All right, letting go, straightening up. Keep coming. Now I'm going really slow because I'm trying to understand how this feels and what it's like directionally. So. Okay, take your trailer to the right a little bit more, tiny bit. Keep coming. Keep going right? Yeah, just slight right, not heavy right. Keep going right. All right, switching over to the other side. Keep going right. Now straighten up. All right, straightening up, letting it go. Okay, go ahead and stop right there. Stop right there. All right, I'll see you in a sec. I think it looks great. So definitely don't do this alone for the first time. Have someone who is experienced or at least someone who can be your eyes. The first time um, I felt completely lost and disoriented, but the fact that Jeff was talking me through you should feel this you should turn this way come back this much straighten up the second time that we did this I felt when I ever uh, I had to pull forward and straighten up I felt a little bit more confident it's gonna take a lot of time but I mean come on look at it's it's amazing I agree the pro trailer backup assist does not make you a pro and it doesn't replace somebody being on the other end of a phone or a walkie-talkie hand and arm signals doesn't replace any of that for helping you get into a spot safely and making sure that you don't encounter any damage to your rig, your truck, or people around you. But um, we're gonna keep messing with this, but we're not gonna record, but this is an awesome thing. And once again, she's never backed up anything and she just did this. So we'll see you around.